Assalamu alaikum knowledge seekers welcome to my channel ilm sources in this video i am going to talk about how ottomans used to celebrate eid al adha or also known as qurban bayram now let us first see about this festival in a brief qurban bayram also known as eid al adha now bayram here means holiday is the second significant holiday following ramadan bayram also known as eid al fitr in the islamic world The religious festival is celebrated in commemoration of Prophet Ibrahim's willingness to sacrifice his son on Allah's command. Abraham, known as Ibrahim alayhi salam in the Islamic world, had vowed that if he had a son, he would be willingly to sacrifice him for the sake of Allah. After he had a son, he was reminded of this vow through a dream. Both Ibrahim alayhi salam and his son agreed to keep this vow even if shaitan tried to hinder them by his willingness to sacrifice his son ibrahim showed his loyalty to god for which he was awarded a ram was sent to him from heaven and the prophet sacrificed the ram instead of his son while it is the time of qurban bayram let's discover how this event used to be celebrated in the ottoman empire special ceremonies were held in the ottoman palace and among the public on islamic holidays which held an important place in ottoman culture life in the place a bayram greeting ceremony with the sultan called muhyiddin ali was held the most important ceremony in the ottoman palace after the kulus ceremony which marks the succession of the throne was this greeting ceremony ceremonies making islamic holidays were not only important in terms of religion in the empire they were also very significant in terms of revealing the grandeur of the ottoman dynasty this was because in the islamic world the government was measured not only by military power but also by the splendor of the palace and rich public ceremonies in the ottoman empire the procedures and the principles of official ceremonies were determined by the framework of fateh kanun namesi also known as mehmed the conqueror's code of law and this arrangement continued for a long time with very few changes the ceremony marking qurban bayram was held in topkapi palace until the mid 19th century and in the grand ceremonial hall in the center of dolma bagchi palace of 1867 as of 1867 except for two ceremonies held in yildiz palace during the reign of sultan abdul hamid ii the day before the festival known as the day of arafa A ceremony used to be held in the second courtyard of the palace. On this day, the throne of the sultan was carried to the gate of felicity, which opens to the Arz Odasi, the palace where the sultan met high officials to exchange greetings. The sultan himself chose the mosque to use for bayram prayers, and this was usually Hagia Sophia or the Blue Mosque. It was customary for the sultans to perform the morning prayer on the first day of bayram at the chamber of holy relics the sultan then would ride to the mosque on a fancy horse before performing the bayram prayer nothing could be compared to the glory of the sultan on his on his horse the harnesses of the horses were decorated with gold pearls and jewels after the prayer the celebration started in the gate of felicity the sheep prepared for the sultan was fed and carried by specially dressed officials during qurban bayram the sacrificed animals were sent to the madrasas or schools and to the needy the day of the festival was also declared a, ho- a holiday in the ottoman state before the festival military officers and civil servants were given a salary bonus during the festival soldiers were given sugar lamb halwa salad and baklava while policemen were given one fez and tassel or purchased them gifts were handled our uh, gifts were handed out to the ulama of great mosque such as the hagia sophia blue mosque sulaimani mosque and fateh mosque on the first day of the bayram halwa was distributed to prisoners in prisons some of the prisoners who had served two thirds of their sentences were pardoned on the occasion of the festival so this was in brief the tradition of ottoman empire for celebrating uh, eid ul adha or also known as qurban bayram 
so if you found this video informative like share and subscribe my channel uh, jazakallah and also eid mubarak to all of you